Thriving Communities Carlisle is a partnership supporting local communities to enhance their health and well-being through social, arts, culture and nature-based activity, particularly as we recover from the impact of COVID-19. So the Thriving Communities Partnership is just wonderful. It's a really fantastic group of like-minded organisations who all come at it from the benefit of the city as opposed to just the benefit of their organisation. I think that's really important in a partnership. I feel very passionate about the benefits of the partnership um, and it has shown to me and proven that when you get the right people in, the, in a partnership it can be an absolute success. Our partners are Tully House, Carlisle City Council, Cumbria Wildlife Trust, Susie Tate Project, Carlisle Healthcare, Prism Arts and North Cumbria Integrated Care NHS Foundation Trust. Our activity started in spring 2021 as we were emerging from some of those big lockdowns. It's been a great way to get lots of like a multidisciplinary approach to what we're providing for people, particularly at a time where we're coming out of lockdown. Um, it's about that partnership working and being able to deliver. So upscaling what agencies were already doing, but then the Inside Out programme has been a great opportunity to offer something really different to people. Inside Out is our new cross-partner activity. It's a programme of taster activities designed to help people get out and about and engage with activities in their community. We've delivered nine blocks of activity, partnering with different community venues and centres around the city, Brampton and Longtown. Thriving Communities attracted us because it offers us an opportunity to, to work with the community, with an external organisation, we can see a lot of potential in, in the Thriving Communities project in terms of what we would like to do in the future and perhaps with other projects as well. But it really is about having that opportunity to deal with people, to listen to what the, the, their interests are, what they feel about things and bringing people together. And I think in the process of doing that, you strengthen the community, you get better communication, you develop friendships, you've got the social side of it as well. Each week, we offer a different creative activity taster inspired by nature and the outside world from a local organisation or practitioner. Through Inside Out, we've been able to partner with a whole host of additional delivery organisations outside of the core partnership, which has been brilliant. We've been running theatre workshops and also drumming workshops, OK? And I think just meeting new people, introducing them to that, always helps your practice. And the more you do it, um, the better you get it, you know. I've never really done theatre stuff before, so it was a new experience. I really enjoyed it. I saw the poster for the Inside Out programmes, and when I saw the first one being drumming, I said, I said yes, I'm definitely going to this today, and I'm glad I did. Hopefully it's been a, a little window into something a bit different. I know that most of the people that came to participate today haven't ever played drums before or, um, or heard music from Brazil, samba music, or probably even done any musical improvisation before. So hopefully it's been something a little bit different and a chance to meet some new people, make new connections. Each block of the programme is supported by a facilitator who's there as a friendly face throughout and can support with signposting to similar long-term opportunities so it has been fantastic for them to come out, try new things, try things that they perhaps thought they couldn't do or that they might not be able to do due to personal reasons. Um, but actually finding that they can do it and they enjoy it has been really good for them and just giving them that confidence of if I can do this, then what else can I do? Yes, I think it's really important that there are activities like this locally. And I know if there's another course like this, I'll say to people that I know, did you know, and hopefully they'll come as well. Anyone can take part in the programmes. They're open to anyone, 18 plus, who thinks they may benefit from joining us. And we've been delighted by some of the intergenerational interactions we've had through the programmes. We've taken referrals from health and social care, other charities and community groups, but also a lot of people sign up themselves. A lot of our participants are motivated to meet new people because they may be feeling lonely or isolated, to get engaged with the community because maybe they've moved recently to the area, and just to get out of the house and have some fun. The activities that we've done 
have been fun, but they've led to other things. They've led to us uh, joining up with different clubs. Um, they've opened our idea about what's available, about what we could join in with. Uh, but I think one of the biggest things is we've laughed. We've had lots and lots of laughter. We're really excited by the growth and development of Inside Out. It has had a three-way benefit for the community, for the participants, for the healthcare systems, and for the community venues we partner with. I think this activity has an incredible value. I think the, for people who are maybe don't want to take that plunge of going to the doctor and kind of verbalizing, I feel lonely and I feel isolated. These projects take, take a bit of that fear away because um, it's, it's, it's letting you know that's okay to feel like that and you don't have to talk about it. You could just come to this session and try something new. And if in the process of trying that new thing and meeting new people, you have the confidence to talk a bit more about how you're feeling great. But if you don't, you've still done something positive with your day. The organisations and practitioners delivering activity have been able to share their wonderful opportunities with new people, leading to participants getting involved with new activities, take up volunteering, or even start their own local groups inspired by an Inside Out session. For me, I also love the fact that there's a bit of legacy can come out of that, where there may be other groups um, who independently set up and, and go forth themselves. So it's, it's all good stuff. Our evaluation has shown that participants' sense of well-being improved from the start to the end of the six-week programme. In particular, participants' sense of feeling relaxed and feeling useful has increased. Social prescribing can have some positive health outcomes, including improvements in depression and anxiety, improvements in emotional and general well-being. Uh, there's also some evidence that um, social prescribing activities can lead to reductions of some traditional NHS services, for example, um, accident and emergency or early attendances. Participants have been contributing meaningfully to their community, which is great for everyone. We've planted a hedge in Botchaby, created a beautiful mural for Longtown Community Centre and did some gardening in Brampton. We've learnt lots from running Inside Out and we're excited to bring the next iteration of the programmes to our community. The funding we received allowed us to have two strands to our activity. First, called Inside Out, and second, the upscaling of existing activity delivered by our various partners to be able to reach more people. Our partners have a diverse range of brilliant expertise in community delivery already, so this project has allowed us to harness those skills to offer a range of activity, which means there's hopefully something for everyone. Tully House ran a project called Meet Me at the Museum particularly designed to support people living with dementia along with their friends, family and carers. These are creative sessions that take inspiration from the museum's diverse collection. Social interaction is the key uh, element of delivering the project, is bringing people together um, getting people chatting, getting people talking, there's been lots of reminiscing. We also recognise the importance of getting out into local communities to take activity to people as well as them being able to come to us. Tully on Tour does exactly that, taking some of the museum collections out to local venues. Prism Arts have used funding from thriving communities to deliver an amazing block of combined art workshops. We felt that it was important to be involved in the thriving community because it allows us to access more people that we, we don't currently. So this group that we're working with now, we have quite a few people that weren't accessing our regular programmes. The benefits of a community activity like this are, it, you know, it allows people to see their friends um, and to make friends, meet people that they wouldn't necessarily in their normal day-to-day -day life. I come to prison art because I enjoy art and I do sketching and drawing. We're also able to take creative activity onto the wards at the Cumberland Infirmary with music, dance and theatre sessions. So the arts programme when we're working on wards um, with patients, what I'm always very aware of is that we bring the arts to them and then they go home and they don't necessarily know what's out there in the community. It does things like the obvious, it relieves boredom from patients, 
Um, but it can have that wider thing. So when working with dance and movement, you're introducing physio movements without the physiotherapist that, um, necessarily being there or the, without the patient realising they're doing physio exercises. As a dance artist for health and wellbeing, through Thriving Communities Carlisle, Susie has also been delivering a Living Well with Parkinson's dance group. Susie Tate also runs a similar group for people who've experienced a stroke. As part of Thriving Communities Carlisle, this group partnered with Cumbria Wildlife Trust to run a nature-based project. The stroke group meet weekly for sessions that are a mix of dance and an introduction to wildlife during spring. Themes about springtime then inform the basis for dance ideas in following weeks. It's a very supportive group. Um, it, it, it has totally uh, lifted our spirits. Um, we keep telling other people about it. Cumbria Wildlife Trust has also been upscaling their wildlife volunteering sessions. Well, I think sort of everyone knows how much better they feel after spending a little bit of time outside. Um, just sitting out here surrounded by the bees, the birds, it gives a bit of a, a boost to people's mood. And for Cumbria Wildlife Trust, we've got lots of opportunities for people to come and volunteer with us. The final project upscaled through Thriving Communities is Space to Talk. Space to Talk is a partnership between Carlisle Healthcare, City Council and the Vineyard Church. Space to Talk are in the city centre every Friday morning, checking in with members of the public and giving them a space to talk and be listened to. Lis listening itself is, is in many ways a lost or a, a lost art in, in many parts of our communities today um, and such a valuable part of, of something that everybody can do. So I think through this project we've seen, we've been able to encourage people in the local community. Many people come and take, we give away a little bag each week that we call it, it's just our free bag of courage. And, you know, people have taken those over the last two years and passed them on to neighbours or gone to somebody else, um, you know, and they've taken that step where rather than just looking out for themselves, they've gone the extra mile to look out for somebody else around them. As we look forward to our next steps, we want to continue building programmes that are meaningful for everyone involved. Thank you to all our partners and our communities who've embraced this new project.